All right, this time I'm gonna learn how to disable our Linux password. Uh, obviously, I don't recommend you disable your password because that's a security risk. But if you say fuck it, I know what I'm doing, then um, show you how to do this here. Uh, there's a few ways to disable your password. And one way we're gonna do is disable the whole group. Meaning that whoever is in that group, like let's say you have multiple users, okay? And they're all in the same group. You can disable it one time and every person that's in that group will not have to enter their password ever again. Um, if you want to do it just for one user only, because you only trust yourself and you don't trust any other ones uh, in your computer, then you can do that for one user. Or if you want to enable this for um, certain commands only, like let's say I just want to do it for my package manager. If you're on Debian, like maybe app get or aptitude. If you're on, um, you know, was that uh, Arch, you can use it for Pac-Man or or uh, Yow or whatever, and you don't want to type in your password when you ever use those commands. You can do that too, okay? Or scripts, if you want to do for scripts. Anyways, how the hell you do this here? So the first thing is you want to type in sudo vsudo. Now by default, it uses uh, vi, the text editor, or sometimes people call it vi or whatever, vi, vi. Uh, basically, if you know how to use vim, you can use this thing. But not a lot of people do, so I'm going to quit out of this. And if you want to change your text editor, you can use a, a command line one or a GUI one. It's up to you. But you type in the same thing. It's like sudo v sudo. Obviously, the only thing you need to change in here is to type in uh, editor equals. And here you want to equal to, you know, let's say, for example, you want to use nano for uh, the command line one. If you want to use a GUI, you can use like, uh, if you're on GNOME, you can use gedit, I guess. And if you're on KD, is Kate, Leafpad, if you're on um, XFCE, and so on and so forth. So let me give you an example here. If I open with Mousepad, um, you open here with Mousepad here, my text editor. And whenever you make any changes that you want to save, you still have to save it, you know, like that and all that. Uh, so that's all you got to do if you want to change your text editor. So I'm going to use Vim with this because that's what I like to use. Okay, so I'm going to use the Vim. Obviously, use whatever the fuck you want. Uh, and hit enter here. Now at the bottom here. So let's go all the way to the bottom. Um, the only thing you have to be concerned about is just, you know, these parts here. So this is my default configuration for this on my system. And... They have the root user, you know, all equals all, space all. That means that um, this person or this user will have to enter their password. Um, this one's commented out, this one's commented out, this one's commented out. But you see the percent sign? That means these, these are not users, but these are groups, okay? So if there's a percent sign, that means these are groups. And this is another group. And down here this is actually tricky because most of these are commented out right here you know they have this little pound sign to comment it out but down here this is not actually a comment this is actually a part of the include statement that they have here um so you can see it tells you what is that the pound sign here does not indicate a comment so this one is actually not a comment which is kind of weird because everything else looks like a comment out here right so just be careful and I'll show you why you need to be careful with this one because um, uh, the first thing we're going to do is disable or allow, you know, not typing our password for our group. Now, the first thing to do is determine which group you're part of. So are you part of the pseudos group? Are you part of the wheels group or any other groups? It really depends on, you know, which distribution and their default configuration. Like someone, some of them they have like the admins group, sometimes they have the wheels group, sometimes they have the pseudos group. But all you gotta do is check to be sure. And to do that, let's do, um, let's open another uh, tab here. And to check, we can do less etc and then group. Okay. In here, um, actually, just type in who am I first so you can understand here. So this is my username here on this computer. And if I do uh, open the groups again here, you can see that I'm not part of the roots uh, group. So I don't have my uh, username here or anything. 
Um, I am part of the wheels group because it has the root user uh, and also my username here, right? Which is hell yeah, ant. And I don't have a pseudo uh, group anywhere in here, so I'm not going to use that. So I'm going to use only the wheels group. But it really just depends on your um, your distribution and what's the default they set up to. So I'm not going to use this one. So this one is useless to me. The wheels group I am part of, but uh, what do I want to set up as? Do I want it to have password when I, uh, you know, type in sudo or no password? Okay. So we want no password for this. So we're going to use this one here. And all you got to do is comment it out. So we're going to go to that line here. And we're just going to delete this pound sign. And that is it, right? Um, now, this two lines. So the only lines that we have that is open is there's a root one here for a root user. And this one is for our user within that group. And also this line here. So we have these three lines that is actually active. Okay, and I'll sh show you why this one doesn't work because we have this other one here. Uh, so let's save this here. And now when we do sudo dash l, you can see that our user is able to run um, commands at no password. But you see this other one here? This is because we have that stupid, um, what was the other one? sudo, there you go. This is because uh, if we go all the way to the end here, they have this other one here, right? And this one actually includes um, that last all statement that we saw earlier. And that's not what we want. So we want to actually disable this one. But let me show you what's in that folder here. Okay. So if we do uh, so up in a password and we do CD into that folder. Uh, D you see in here in this folder they have this other text file and in this text file uh, it actually has another line like this and that's why you see uh, when we type in um, what was that when we type in what was that sudo dash l it has this extra um, all line here and that's not what we want but you know they added here in that stupid uh, sudo D file um, I mean folder and that's not what we want so that's what we're gonna do is actually comment this stupid one out right so it's kind of tricky if you didn't understand that anyways we'll save it um, and now when we do sudo dash l it only has this one here and it has no password so now whenever you type in a sudo command there is no more password okay you know fuck up your system but that's there's no more password so whenever you do, uh, let's, let's clear out our uh, timestamp here for sudo. Uh, did I do that right? Yeah, I did that right. Okay. So if I wanted to type in, let's say, sudo uh, pacman syy, there's no more password. It just automatically, you know, does the command now. If I want to do sudo, um, I don't know, yawert s y y right no more password don't have to type any shit uh, sudo let's say cron tab dash e right no more password at all um, now that's to disable the password for that group so if you want to do that if not you want to do it for a certain user only because if you're part of um, if you have other users in that group you know it's not really good to enable that so if you want to disable that one let's disable this here and if you only wanted it for one user only um, all you gotta do is find out the username of that one so you type in who am I and this is your username here right all right so this is our username so let's copy this here and let's say we want to do uh, what is that uh, the same thing but uh, we only want to do it for one user the hell this one is our um, username here right and, and that's all you gotta do just type in your username pretty much the same format you know all equals all uh, no pass WD colon space and all and that when we save this sucker 
uh, and we do sudo dash k, uh, and then we do a um, what is that sudo dash l just to see what we have. You see here our username still has that one, but our group does not uh, have those access. So you can still do you know sudo um, what was that? Uh, let's say pacman s by y or something like that. There's no more password, but that's only applies to one user because we only set it to one user. Okay, vcdo. Let's go back into here. Let's go at the bottom again. And that was for one user, but um, what else is there? Oh yeah, if you want to do it for one user, but uh, you want to enable it just for uh, certain commands only, uh, you can do that. So for example, let's copy this one here. Um, let's do it at the bottom here so you can be confused. Or maybe you're already confused. Uh, DD base here. So in here, what we're going to do is actually uh, yeah, dash hands here. This one, this first line here, um, will tell us that this user, whenever you type in sudo, it'll ask us for a password. And the bottom here, um, this one we're only going to tell it to use, um, what is that, uh, certain commands. So let's say I just want to do this for usr bin, and I only want to apply this to pac man only, all right? So this one is for any other command that uses sudo. It'll ask me for a password. This one will tell us um, anytime we use pacman, it'll ask us no password, okay? So this one is only for, you know, no password for pacman only. And everything else, it asks us for a password. So you save that, and you can do sudo-l to confirm it. So you can see it says all, and it'll ask us for a password. And when, the only time it doesn't ask us for a password is when we're using Pac-Man, right? So let's do this here: sudo dash k to reset our uh, what is that, our timer for sudo. And now when we do, let's say sudo yaowert uh, syy here, it'll ask us for a password, right? Let's cancel all that. And whenever we type in sudo Pac-Man dash syy. See, there's no password, so you see the difference. Uh, that will allow you just that one command, so you don't have to type in your password ever for that command only. So that's the difference between, um, you know, the a single user having no password, or a single command having no password, or a single group having no password. Uh, so hopefully you understand that. What else is there that we need to learn in here? Um, I think that's about it. If you want to do this for a group, uh, it's pretty much the same thing. You know, instead of typing the username, you type in the group. So let's say, for example, our wheels group. We can do wheel like that. Or um, if you want everyone in the wheels group to have access, then you can type in wheel. If you want multiples, um, like if you want like multiple commands, like not just Pac-Man, but you want Yaward also. Uh, you can do that. So, for example, you can type in comma and usr as a bin and yaowert, right? That's another way to add more commands to it. So, let's save this here and let's do sudo dash l just to confirm what we have here. So, I see this one, it'll tell us to type in our password. No, we don't want to type in our password, right? Oh, no, we, have, we typed that in our password for all other commands that. Uh, are not uh, Pac-Man or Yaowert. So anytime you use Yaowert or Pac-Man, there is no password, but everything else, it requires you uh, to have a password. So now, let's do confirm this here. sudo dash k to clear our timer. And now if we do, let's say sudo crontab dash e, it'll tell us to type our password, but if we use um, sudo pacman, uh, if I spell it right here, pacman dash syy. You see there's no password. Uh, let's cancel all that too. If we do sudo yaowert dash syy, no password, right? But anything else, 
you have to type a password. So if you do sudo v sudo, guess what? It'll tell us to type our password. Um, so let's type in our password here. So that's the difference between, um, you know, allowing a group of users, a single user, and a, a single command, or multiple commands depending on how you set it up. But anyways, that's pretty much it. If you ever fucked up like your uh, file here, and you can't have access to sudo anymore, let me give you an example. Let's say I disable these two here. Okay. Actually, you can do this here. Disable this one, this one. Anything else? Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Let's say I mess this up. Okay. Somehow. Let's say I save this. And we'll list this out here. We have no access. So you may not run sudo on uh, hell yeah ant. So let's say I clear the the command here or the, the timer for sudo here. So if I try to type in sudo pacman dash syy and I try to type in my password you see it says uh, I'm not part of the sudo's file. The way to fix this, if you ever fucked up, I guess it depends on your um, your system too or your distribution. You can type in, sometimes it's sudo uh, su or super user or su. One way you can do is that. And you might have to type in your password, but this one doesn't work on here. Sometimes it's sudo su and then uh, the dash but this one doesn't work on here either sometimes just su for super user all right and this one is for root here and then you can type in vsudo again uh, or sometimes if you want to use the other editor like let's say for example nano vsudo right you can go back into this file and then we can fix it by deleting these two uh, let's say delete this and delete this and hit control X and then uh, do you want to save the changes um, yes so you type in Y and then you hit enter and that's it now you exit out of this and now when we type in sudo dash K um, and then sudo dash L and you see here we're back to having access to those files that we just um, uncommented out right so that's how you have access back to it if all else fails all you gotta do is reboot your system and in your grub menu or will say uh, recovery mode you go in there and it'll allow you to have access to your uh, vsudo file again okay if you fucked it up <laughs> which I did do and it actually does work if you go to recovery mode okay uh, on your grub menu anyways that's how you change passwords on Linux hopefully you don't have to do it but if you ever want to learn how to do it there you go pretty long video uh, hopefully you understood all that crap that'll be it for this one